I really like that team. The rowing team? I like the additions, man. I mean, everybody's contributing, knock on wood, that they can stay healthy. But I mean, that Alex Dabrinkit is um, he's pretty good. Pretty it's good. been a quality signing. Um, you know, it's funny. Like you get the empty net goal, gives him five, five and four games. He probably the sprung goal a couple nights ago was all the Brinkett's work with a with a snipe that handcuffed a goalie, and then the puck laid on the goal line, and Sprong just tipped it in. But Sprong was there. Bertie did a story about all the new guys and how much they've contributed. Um, there was. It's it's very very early. We try and stay within the guardrails of responsibility, and yet Gator asked to his show sheet. When do we get chesty about this yeah. rowing team? And I don't I don't think it's just yet. But man, this you hope this is the start of something good, don't you? I do. Wait, well, look at the scoring leaders on this team. Here are the guys that are averaging a point per game or more. Shane Gostisbehere, defenseman, he's new. Andrew Cop, he's not new, but he's healthy and he's looked. Looks pretty good with three goals in four games. JT Comfer, four points in four games. He's new. Dylan Larkin's not new. He's got six and four. And then Alex Debrinkit, he's new. Eight points, including five goals in four games played. You like to see that. New guys are contributing. You mentioned Sprong earlier. He's got the two goals in the four games. Um, we saw the the debut of, uh, of Reimer, the goaltender, who had a shutout his first time out. I'm liking this brand of hockey. The power winning, play looks winning, fantastic. Yeah, winning, the 60% winning is good. Percent power play percentage or whatever it is. Yeah, but they're scoring goals, which is, I mean, it's one thing to to just win is great. Yeah, but to, it's not that they're winning necessarily with flair, but I like to see that they're putting the puck in the net on a regular basis as opposed to sporadically. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been it's been good, and there was some, you know, they, there was a four three game, two empty netters uh, made the difference in the end to make it a, a six three final, but only seventy eight left. <laughs> Get your tickets. I'm not chesty just yet, but I love what I'm seeing, just like everybody else. Are you chesty? A little bit. I mean, because I, I have to be. I, I, I went on a limb and said they'd be a playoff team, and I, I believe that. And they're proving me correct right now. Now, things could go south, obviously, quickly, but I'm enjoying it. Well, and they're beating some playoff caliber teams. That they are. So, up. schedule, not easy right out of the gate. Let's see what uh, what comes out of this, right? Absolutely. See what comes out of it. Uh, meanwhile, they got Ottawa next. Ottawa is a team that feels like a budding rival. Last year, the two games set with Ottawa in the middle of the season, right at the trade deadline, was depressing. Um, hated the way that Ottawa played. It was very effective. I don't hate them for doing it, but I, I thought that they were – the initiator of physical play and then complaining about it, but it worked. I mean, they pounded Detroit in those two games. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they match up with Ottawa after last year. I agree with you. I mean, um, Brady Kachuk just kind of put the team on his shoulder and, and laughed at the Red Wings last yep. year. So we'll see what they do this year. He's got four goals in four games to start off. Uh, they've added Tarasenko to the team. He started off hot with six points in the four games. They've got a, they've got a good – core of players. It's a good team Ottawa has. 